So Tekken 8, Tekken got revealed, big game, a lot of people care about it. Uh, I, blew, I used to play Tekken, believe it or not, I actually used to play Tekken uh, back during the Tekken Tag 2 days. I didn't like Tekken 7 that much, and I know I know this is like a really odd opinion among the Tekken uh, gamers, the Tekken fandom, but I had my reasons. Right, and you might be saying, "Well, Mura Tekken Seven eventually got Julia, and she was really good, but Julia is not JC. JC kicks you in the balls and then does a Hurricane Rana. JC get tombstoned by King, and she takes him to Sublix City after. JC is sick. Like she's the best Tekken character, and hopefully Tekken Eight will include her because Tekken Seven." had a shocking lack of JC. Now, let's check out the trailer. I know it's featuring Jin and Kazuya, so I will not get my wish today, but hopefully we will get our lovely JC at some point. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. Uh, I have seen people complaining about Jin's design. I, I don't know what to expect. So let's let's take a look here. Hmm. A lot of people beating down. Isn't this the G-Corp, the Kazuya soldier? Goddamn. They look sick. Oh my god. They look really cool. They look really, really cool. Such pathetic words. I guess they're continuing the story uh, from Tekken uh, 7, right? Wow. You know, this reminds me so much of uh, the Mortal Kombat 10 announcement trailer when they had uh, Sub Zero and Scorpion and they were fighting and it looked like. Uh, like like they try to mimic gameplay this to me looks a lot like either that or they're doing a like this is a story mode fight and this is probably is a story mode fight but it looks really cool look at the raindrops on kazuya bam <laughs> he did, he gave him like a double electric bam bam so why are people complaining about jin's design he looks fine his bands look different but uh, he's they're doing like the will he transform thing. I guess people don't like his hair, huh? But he looks fine to me, honestly. Uh, and he gave him an electric of his own. He's gonna digivolve into Devil Jin, but he doesn't. And he does the super. This seems like it will be Jin's super. Seems like it. Hmm. Maybe it will finally be the game where Jin and Devil Jin will be one character. Um, my understanding is that they always made it so that Kazuya can transform to the devil because he can kind of control it, while Jin uh, have no control over the devil, and that is why uh, like they're separate characters. He's not really Jin once he's devil Jin anymore. At least that is how I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this looked sick. Uh, the graphics looks really good. Like I said, this is probably... This is a really cool shot. Damn. Uh, the graphics looks amazing. This to me looks like a cinematic story mode fight, probably like the Hachi versus Kazuya fight. And I must say, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Mishima's. Uh, in this feud, I would mostly root for Kazuya, so I want Kazuya to win. Uh, I've always never liked the Mishima's that much, but I did like their triple threat feud, like when it was. There was like a CGI movie, what was it called? I think it was called like Tekken Rebellion, maybe, right? Or Bloodlines, I'm not really sure. Uh, there was like a CGI Tekken uh, movie, and at the end, there is a big fight between Jin, Kazuya, and Heihachi, and I thought that was like amazing. I always loved that, but I don't like it when it's just one of them versus the other. Uh, I thought it was kind of lame how they did it in Tekken 7 when Jin pretty much slipped through the entire story uh, because they took away the aspects that I really like. But this looks really, really cool. This honestly looks really cool. Look at the stage. Look at the background here. And this does look an engine. Um, so, like I said, it's either like a choreographed quick time event fight or it's probably a story mode fight. And they're doing obviously a lot of the moves from the game. Like this is a known string for Jin. And Kazuya does like, I think this is like his forward forward three. So they're doing the moves and even their poses. Yeah, this is what they do in the game. So this seems more and more like actual gameplay to me. Or at least a... How, you doing? How, how can I say this? Like a version of the gameplay that is more presentable. But yeah, this looks like a story mode gameplay. I'm convinced this is story mode gameplay now. 
And I'm wondering if this is like a new mechanic, like when Kazuya did the sway here, uh, this might be a new mechanic. This might be a new mechanic because of the slowdown and there isn't really anything of the sort in Tekken already. Some characters have sways, uh, like Brian and Nina, but not everyone. And look at his muscles, damn. Because obviously they're hinting at some gameplay uh, elements here. Pew. <laughs> what a kick. What a kick. That's pretty nice. They look amazing, honestly. I think Kazuya does look a little bit better than Jin, though. And I'm wondering, like, what happened here? Like, why did Jin get crumbled and he got double electric? Bam! But it looks really, really cool. It looks really cool. The graphics are amazing, honestly. Uh, it seems to me like they they didn't really try to like reinvent what they had in the previous games, but more of just like optimizing it and making it look better. So it's not more of a uh, like Street Fighter 6 complete redesign new direction, this seems like more of the same but a lot of people like Tekken 7 so I understand that and I love the chains like the chains that he have when he turns into the devil and using that as the 8, that's pretty cool that's really cool that's really cool like I said, probably Jin Super or his Rage Drive or Rage Art Rage Art, Rage Art, Rage Drive is the blue uh, thing Looks pretty cool. Uh, and one thing that they did uh, announce is that this is next gen only. Uh, I know it will disappoint like some players, like especially like uh, players who have PlayStation Four and all of that. But I, I think it, it's, it's it had to be done uh, because like Tekken Seven was already struggling on the PlayStation Four. So I don't I don't I, I think this is for the better. Honestly, looks pretty cool. So but add JC. We need JC, right? You need to sell me on this game. I don't want Gamer Girl Julia. And I know like I hammered on this for a while. I don't like Twitch streamer Gamer Girl Julia gave me JC. Anyways, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. Uh, I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages in the description below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and stay safe.